Sorry for the technical delays there. But Franciscan with a one nothing lead here. That's a goal by Schreiner from Kohler. One minute into the game. And Franciscan looking to attack here again as St. George pushes it up to Nick Miller. Nick Miller sends a beautiful ball to Schreiner. Schreiner oh. back to Miller. Miller unable to corral it, but Mikey Irvin heads it back into the box. And it's still in a dangerous spot here. St. Vincent finally able to clear it slightly, but Fiermonti's going to work it back, and Franciscan will retain possession. And Nick Quick couldn't quite get his body around on that ball, and he knew it the moment it hit his foot. It wasn't going to go the right way. No, he was just not at the right angle there. But a good look there by Franciscan again, as they have dominated the... Uh, the shots battle so far. Let's pull up the stats here. And that's Rahman again as he pushes it forward. Number seven over to number eight. Number eight, Rockets a shot saved. Andres Mateos carry on. With a rocket of a shot there as Matone gets it out quickly and looks to Run the possession from the back end to the midfield, from the midfield to the forwards here, as Franciscan has done a marvelous job controlling the possession. As Ryan Miller works it to the middle, finds Atkinson. Atkinson, another stellar freshman. It's kind of uh, doesn't get the attention in the box score, but he has done a stellar job. As that ball just sails out of bounds, which will be a St. Vincent throw-in. St. Vincent trying to get something into the midfield here. Sends a high ball to Rahman. Oh, Firamani will be called for the foul there. Number six for Franciscan. Foul number 12. And the ref's going to slow it down there. They've been quick on those free kicks. The ref finally going to slow them down here. Just a touch. But they may be able to set a dangerous, set up for a dangerous ball though now. Instead of that quick touch. As it looks like number eight will be taking it for St. Vincent. Sends a high ball to the front of the box. Chested out by St. George. Still at the top of the box. St. Vincent rips a shot. Number 10 saved by Jax. That's a dangerous ball there on one that Matone had a lot of bodies in front of him and really couldn't see it till the last second. As uh, number 10 there, Griffin Prinky fired a shot at the left post. Would have been in if Matone wasn't there and just was able to make the diving save. That was a great save by Jax. As Atkinson pushes one up to Schreiner. Schreiner. Holds, holds off, takes Ooh. a left-footed shot from the same spot he scored from, but it was blocked by the defender. 
Another sh good shot there. Oh, it was a dangerous cross right to the right foot of Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller shoots wide. Great pass there by Schreiner. Miller with the one-timer just wide. Be two shots there from Franciscan, one blocked. Schreiner had one blocked from with the left foot there, and then Ryan Miller, Brian Miller, the younger Miller, just went wide. Uh, St. Saint Vin Saint Vincent pushes it up quickly there, but deflected out of bounds off to St. Vincent. Uh, forward Rahman. And that'll give Franciscan possession once again. Just under 30 minutes left to play here in the first half, and had a lot of action thus far. Franciscan leading one to nothing. St. George trying to head it back to the middle is fouled there by number 16, Michael Gates. St. George looking to work quickly here, but he will be pushing it back to Atkinson. And Atkinson will cross it to a fellow freshman. Joseph St. George. Joe St. George there. Sending it up. Good job staying on sides. On sides there is Schreiner. Schreiner works it back to Irvin, who's going to look to take a run into the corner. The resets and works it back to St. George, who crosses it to his brother, Chris St. George. Sends it to the corner to Sebastian Kohler. Kohler makes a run. Oh, what a spin move there. Gets it to the middle. And Nick Miller not able to corral it there, but. St. George will rip a shot there, number 20. Rips a shot there just wide. Another good look there. As the crowd's filling in here. Filling in here at Trinity Hill System Field and above at the rugby uh, rugby pitch there for the Baron Blast tailgate today. Lucked out on the weather. And people look to be trickling in. They're in store for two good games today. Franciscan looks to send them home happy here with a couple wins. It'll be Shane Piper, the goalie, sending a deep ball there. Headed towards the box, but no one's home. As St. Vincent's been full of quick attacks here, quick counterattacks. I haven't really been able to put a methodical drive on the Franciscan defense. No, and the Barons have been taking their time, slowly building up the field. Here we got Fiorimani. Making a run here. Kohler got a little confused there, but is going to get possession here in the corner. Tries to get a corner kick. But instead, it looks to be a Franciscan throwing. Throwing it. Worked in quickly to Chris St. George. As Franciscan once again has a dangerous look here. And Chris St. George is able to work a corner. Oh, wow. Wow, it sounds like the ball was already out. And that'll be a goal kick. Goal kick to be taken by Piper there, and Piper just quicks it shortly there into Hurtado. He tries to push it up the middle of the field, but that is stolen by Franciscan. And Franciscan unable to corral it there with Ryan Miller, and St. Vincent will have possession. St. Vincent. Trying to work quickly, unable to control possession as Firamani now has it in the midfield. Moves it over to Ryan Miller as St. Vincent midfield is getting quite aggressive here, but Franciscan able to keep their composure. Joe St. George pushes it up. But just a little too strong for Mikey Irvin to get it, and that'll be another St. Vincent goal kick. And Piper. Surveys the field. Looks like he may go deep here. As they've been mixing it up with the deep ball and some short balls. But Piper is going to send one over the midfield line here. Headed by Nagel. And Franciscan will win the second there on a foul. By number 14 for St. Vincent. Number 14 there fouled. Mikey Irvin there, who's trying to win the second ball, and that'll be another dangerous free kick here for Franciscan. Looks to be taken by Nick Miller. St. George fakes the attempt. Miller sends a dangerous ball. Just saved by the goalie there, Piper. 
Beautiful ball, Franciscan not able to get ahead on that one and sailed all the way into Piper. Piper will punt this one. Cross the midfield stripe again as he's shown a strong leg all day. And St. Vincent will win the second ball there. As Andres Mateos carry on in the midfield. He surveys the field. Finds Michael Gates. Gates pushing it over. To Ike Vangelo. St. Vincent retaining possession here on the near side of the field. Now into the midfield. As it'll be a St. Vincent throw in here on the far side of the field. It's the longest St. Vincent has been able to control possession thus far. As they work it back up to Sean Nip here. He's going to push it forward. Looking for space. But gets it stolen there by St. George. And Franciscan looking to take a quick counter here. That was a little too aggressive by a Bearcat defender. Yeah, he, uh, he made his run there, but just a little too aggressive there as we send a beautiful ball there. Oh, oh my. Did not think Cola was anywhere near offsides, but that'll be called offsides again there. By the far, far official there again. Thought he timed that perfectly. But that'll be another free kick for St. Vincent, and they're going to send it all the way into... Franciscan end again. They look to win the second ball here. And it'll be St. Vincent who controls it. Not until it's back on their end, though. As they move it back to Piper. Piper surveying. Sends a deep ball to the near side of the field right in front of the Franciscan bench, and that'll go out of bounds. As we will get the first sub of the day. Going to be Fiermonti for Fiermonti here. As the older Joe Joseph Firmani coming in for his brother Justin Firmani. Firmani controls it there in the midfield. Oh, and a dangerous kick there by Nick Miller. Nick Miller is going to be tackled here. Stop the clock. We got a tough to call to be made here, and it's going to be a yellow card on Miller. Dangerous high kick. Looked like a knee almost to the face there. Not intentional. Just going for it there and will be our first yellow card of the day. Looks like the St. Vincent defender not too happy there. Almost tried to catch Nick or tackle him. Hard to say there, but it looked like the card was going to be on Nick, though, as it will be a St. Vincent free kick. And good on the official. Normally in plays like that across all sports, it's always the retaliator that gets pinged for a foul or a card. Yeah, you could tell Nick did not mean to do it by any means, and... Felt bad there, but the ref calling it quick there, and we'll, that'll be our first yellow card of the day. Uh, St. Vincent tries to push it up again. No one home as Franciscan will control possession once more. <laughs> and St. Vincent try, gets possession, tries to push it up. Too strong, and that'll be a Franciscan goal kick. Francis going to take the goal kick here. With Sebastian Kohler and Mikey Irvin switching sides of the field here. Uh, Mikey Irvin working the near side of the field and Kohler on the far side. As Matone works it up to Nagel on the near side of the field here. Working from right to left. Tries to find Firamani. Firamani shoved to the ground. No call. And St. Vincent has possession. Ryan Miller able to take control as he works it back to his defense. And Franciscan tries to gain possession up the far side of the field there. And it is successful as Franciscan will get a throw in. Schreiner and Kohler working together on that far side of the field is a dangerous duo for sure. St. George to St. George. Chris St. George makes a run here. Defender on his back. And it's going to be Mikey Irvin trying to push through two France or two St. Vincent defenders. 
And he's able to draw a corner kick. Substitution in for the Barons, number 22, J.P. Bovac, for number 9, Mikey Irvin. And that'll give Franciscan the ability to sub in J.P. Bobeck for Mikey Irvin. Taking a quick blow here. This is a great time for J.P. to get in the game. He has a very powerful leg. He scores a lot of goals in the minutes that he plays. And trying to see who's taking the corner. It's going to be a quick touch to Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller back to Sebastian Kohler, who's on a run. Thought Ryan was still running with him as that ball will go through the back. And there for a St. Vincent goal kick. So interesting uh, two-touch method there. Did not result in a shot on goal, though. As Piper will send another ball towards the midfield. Strong header there by Nagel. Ward Schreiner. Schreiner trying to corral it. Well, able to do so as he pushes it back to Joe St. George. Joe St. George finds his brother but his brother unable to corral it there will lead to a St. Vincent throw in and St. Vincent rushes up to get on the attack here as we got Ike Evangelo with the throw in number two for St. Vincent pushes it all the way past the Franciscan bench there as the St. Vincent defenders are doing a good job of working them towards the sideline here battling for it it's Firamani He's able to get it to Nagel and Franciscan controls possession here momentarily as Nagel pushes it up the field. And leads a Franciscan throw in here. We got a quick two on two opportunity here if we want it as Kohler trying to find Schreiner. Unable to do it, but he gets a throw in. And Franciscan trying to attack here as St. Vincent bound to get back here. Oh, and the St. Vincent defender there makes a great stab there. But Miller. Able to control it. Miller rips a shot. Bouncer saved by Piper. That was Franciscan's quickest attack there. He got a brief stoppage here for a St. Vincent injury. As we stop the clock here. St. Vincent defender still on the ground here. Just out of knee. Those trainers are coming out and we'll take a brief pause here. Franciscan up one to nothing. Just under 19 minutes left to play here in the first half. All right, and we're back to play here as injured player for St. Vincent, being Sean Nip, able to get off the field on his own power. It will bring in a sub, though, which will be number 17, Liam Hescox, a freshman from Cat Cantonsville, Maryland. Yeah, hopefully our injured player is going to be okay and he's able to get back on the field shortly. And that'll be a punt here by Piper. Huge high ball crossing midfield line, headed by Ryan Miller. But controlled by St. Vincent, but unable to control it there. Just as I say that, and that'll be another dangerous Franciscan throw in. Thrown in by Kohler. Looking for Schreiner there. Oh, Piper tries to clear it, kicks it right into a Franciscan offensive player. 
to give Franciscan a quick counter there, but unable to control it. St. Vincent pushes up near the midfield here. Dangerous through ball, corralled by Atkinson. He's got plenty of space here on the near side of the field if they want it is Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller pushes it up, finds Chris St. George. Chris St. George sends the ball over. Oh, man. Just catches Sebastian Kohler in the back shoulder there. If that clears his shoulder, it's a very dangerous ball. Piper sends another low ball, controlled by the Miller brothers in the middle here for Franciscan. Looking for Joe St. George. St. George works middle. Has his cross blocked. But Franciscan still controlling possession. As St. George has a lot of room here. He could rip a shot if he wants it. But instead passes it to Kohler. He had the window. He really did. I thought he was going to go for his second goal of his career. Kohler sends one, which is blocked. Cross there. And Franciscan looks to be complacent with possession as Atkinson will push it back to Matone here. And we'll reset. As the sun's trying to come out here a little bit on this overcast day. It's creating a little humid atmosphere, though. Players are battling through. Oh, and that ball doesn't go out of bounds. Franciscan thought it would. Instead, St. Vincent earns a throw-in on the kick there off of Firamani. That was a very spinny high ball there. As Piper now working this low ball, tries to get it past Franciscan, but I could Angelo, sorry, able to win the ball there for the Bearcats. Chris White battling for it. Oh, able to earn a corner there for the Bearcats, and Bearcats looking to get into it quickly here. Looks to be Chris White taking it, kicks it up the field to a midfielder there. That's number 14. 14 took it there for St. Vincent. Giuseppe Locono. Very dangerous ball there by the Bearcats, but Monson able to step up and get it. Bearcats are st starting to step up the pressure here. They are as they get another look here. Number seven rips a low shot. Save there by Montone. Shot there by Chris White. Can't take those low shots for granted. Sometimes you get quirky bounces here as the field is a little bit wet from last night's rain still. As Kohler pushes one up to Firamani. Firamani has a step on it. Opposing number four. Slide tackle called clean. Wow. Slide tackle from behind there. Slide tackle from behind there on Firamani was number four, Jose Hurtado. The Franciscan still retains possession here after the throw in. Barron's not happy about that call. Yeah, it looks like it came from behind there, which is a very dangerous slide tackle. As Franciscan tries to get possession and centered it here, but battling back and forth on the far side with the Bearcats here. St. George works it to Miller. Miller double teamed quickly. Work, finds his younger brother, Ryan Miller. is able to push to Firamani. Firamani's shot is saved by the goalie. What a save as he made a great run there. It was Piper. Firamani with an absolute rocket off his chest. And St. Vincent gets possession and quickly is trying to get that counterattack going again. What a save there by Piper. He doesn't make a run on that. That could have been the second goal of the game for the Barons. As Firamani gets it again, finds the streaking Nick Miller here. Schreiner getting bodied here, no call. And St. Vincent will win possession once again. Franciscan clears it back to Montone. They're going to look to slowly build here. Try to build it out of the back end here. Just under 14 minutes left to play in the first half. Nagel looking for the near side of the field. Finds St. George. Chris St. George pushing it up the side, near side here. Into the middle, but St. Vincent able to win it. St. Vincent going to try to retain possession here. 
as they've backed it up. Talon Hescox, the only sub for the Bearcats as he's working it up the middle. St. Vincent making a run here as they got three offensive players on the far side of the field but unable to communicate well to each other there as that shot goes just long into the hands of Montone. Nagel with possession again is able to chip it to St. George. St. George unable to corral it though. And we're going to have a couple subs here both ways. Substitution for the Barons, number eight, Nick Croft, and number 14, John Schreiner. For Franciscan, number eight, Nick Cross, the senior from Grand Blanc, Michigan. Number seven, Chris coming Blake. in for Franciscan, and Jonathan Schreiner coming out. And number 19, Edwin Suarez. For St. Vincent, David Rahman. number 24, Benjamin Edwards, and number 19, Erwin Suarez coming into the game. As Kohler has it stolen there, and it's a dangerous run here for the Bearcats. Number eight tries to push it up and thankfully cleared there by Liam Nagel. Cleared perfectly to Nick Cross. He's able to possess it for Franciscan. St. Vincent looking to push again. On the far side of the field here. As 14 makes a couple Barons miss, but a little too aggressive there as Atkinson able to clear it. Nagel tries to clear it again. Piramani tries to get it out. Kohler finally coming in to help the defenders. Looked to be shoved there a little bit, but no call again. As Franciscan finally possesses it, though. St. Vincent still on the attack here. As Nagel pushed in the back there by number 19, Erwin Suarez. Suarez called for the foul there. And Franciscan will have a free kick. Which looks to be taken by Nagel there quickly. Over to Matone. Matone looking to the far side of the field. As Franciscan complacent with the possession here. one nothing lead here. Almost 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes left here in the first half. Yeah, both teams bringing in some subs, looking for fresh legs. Final Pretty 10 good. minutes here. Oh, a dangerous ball there. Matone having to clear quickly with number 19 from St. Vincent applying pressure. St. George wins a tough one there. Tries to push it up. Unsuccessfully finding Bo back there as St. Vincent will retain possession as they work it back to Piper. Franciscan has it. Bobak finds Firamani. Firamani to the near corner to Kohler. Kohler with some space. Rips a shot. Saved by Piper. Piper surveys the field. Puts the right leg into it. Another high ball deep into the Franciscan end. Set as the bounce nearly gets to the goal box. And still battling for it. Which will be won by Franciscan on a goal kick. We got a couple subs here from both both ways here. Coming in for Franciscan is number 15, Matthew Sherwood, senior from Michigan, who grabs fellow senior Chris St. George. And, and three subs in for St. Vincent. William Colvin for number nine. Will be number 22, William Colvin. Number 27, Alejandro Martinez. And number 32, Alexander Cruz. All coming into the game for the Bearcats here for the final nine minutes of action in the first half. Oh, as Sebi wins a pass there as he works the ball into the near corner. 17 defending him. Kohler tries to win it, instead is going to be attacked, and then we're going to have a stop the clock with a yellow card. It looks to be coming here. That's the second attack. 
Second slide tackle attacked on uh, Kohler there. That one just outside the box. And that'll be a yellow card on Liam Hescox. The sub came in first for the injured defender. So that was 17 on the yellow, right? This ball one? That's what I... I missed the play and I'm trying to see. Substitution in for the yep. Bearcats. Number 25, Adam Wiston for number 16, Michael Gates. Yeah, and then number 16 appeared to be injured there, Michael Gates for St. Vincent, which brought in another sub, number 25, Adam Liston. And that'll lead to a Franciscan dangerous free kick here. Just outside the box. It's on Franciscan sets it up to the top of the box, backs it up to Sherwood. But St. Vincent able to intercept it there and tries to retain possession, pushed up through the midfield here. As they send a dangerous ball up there to number 19, Erwin Suarez pushes in the, into the corner. Unable to control it though, which will lead to a Franciscan goal kick. That's what St. Vincent's been looking to do all game. It's just quick counterattacks, uh, trying to get some numbers, not trying to build slowly. They've gotten some good looks, though. Gotten some good looks. Martin playing really well on the back end. And goal for Franciscan as well as Atkinson and Nagel really controlling the middle of the field. As they move it here to the near side of the field to Sherwood. Sherwood with a lot of grass in front of him. That's a great ball. Sends a Sherwood. beautiful ball all the way to Bobek. Goalie makes a run for it as the chip shot touches the goalie, so we'll call it a block. We'll call it a save by the goalie there as that will lead to a Franciscan corner. I'm not sure what the call is now. Sorry. Correction here. Offsides. Offsides on Franciscan. Sorry. I thought that was a beautiful ball, but we have an offsides on Franciscan, which led to a free kick for St. Vincent. Did not think Bobek was offsides. That was a beautiful through ball by Sherwood. But Franciscan will try again here as they have possession on the far side of the field. As Nick Cross Cross looking to find Fioramani streaking, but has it blocked by St. Vincent. That'll be a St. Vincent throw, and as we get a sub here. Number 20, Joshua Canty, coming in for number 14, Giuseppe Loyacono. Coming in for Giuseppe Loyacono. And then St. Vincent slowly working up the far side of the field as they earn another throw in. Franciscan win. Wins possession there. Cross makes a defender miss. Has a three on two here. Finds Bobek. Bobek misses. misses. Beautiful ball there, but Sebastian Kohler able to corral it. Works it back to Sherwood. And Sherwood, oh, loses it. And that'll be a St. Vincent throw in. Bobek doesn't miss that often. Yeah, that's the third time the Barons have had. Uh, a great look right in front of the net and just on a miscue. Yep. Missed an opportunity. Yeah, Bobak streaking there. I guess he may have just overran it a touch. It's hard to say there. Happened so quickly. It was a really good look. As St. Vincent possesses it on the far side of the field, a beautiful three ball just a bit strong as another Franciscan goal kick. As Matone kicks it in quickly to Nagel. Nagel finding Ryan Miller in the middle. Finding Sebastian Kohler. He's going to try to take it up the middle of the field by himself here. He's able to find Nick Miller. He sends a beautiful ball to Bobak, and he'll be called offsides again. Bobak does not agree with the call as he thought he held long enough. Another beautiful ball by 
Franciscan midfield. And that'll be taken by Piper. He's shown a strong right leg. This ball go all the way to the box. He sends one high into the cloudy sky. Sails over Nagel's head. And that'll be a foul called on number 24 for St. Vincent. Benjamin Edwards shoved Nagel to the ground there. Giving Franciscan free kick and another offensive opportunity here with four minutes left to play in regulation. Bobek going to take it himself here. No offsides this time as he works it just a little too strong, trying to do a little too much, trying to make up for the offsides. And Oh. Looks I like the goalkeeper couldn't control it. The goalkeeper must have touched it. I thought I thought the goalkeeper was just picking it up out of bounds, but he must have just touched it out of bounds, and we're going to have a Franciscan corner taken by Nick Miller, it looks like. And this could be a dangerous look here as Miller sends it to the far post, headed by Nick Cross, all the way back to Miller. Miller rockets one off a defender, and that'll be out of bounds for another corner. Shot blocked there by Miller. Doing a great job to work another corner here with three minutes left in the first half. Just sent that ball a little too deep there. But Franciscan has a cluster of cluster of offense players on the deep post. No one on the near post. Watch Liam Nagel here in the front of the net. They moved that defender up. Oh, what a header there by Nagel. Just wide. Almost talked it into existence. The ball was a little bit lower. The tall Nagel there. Able to control it, but just heads it wide. Yeah, Liam traditionally a, uh, a defender, but every once in a while on these corner kicks, coach likes to bring him up since he's very good at jumping up and controlling the ball in the air with his head. He's got a yeah, Nagel listed six foot two, could be even taller. But St. Vincent has an attack here with just over two minutes left, but sends it into the Franciscan bench, bench here, giving Franciscan possession. Oh, and Nagel loses possession there, giving St. Vincent a throw in. Number 25 for St. Vincent called for the foul there. Adam Liston fouls Nagel. Nagel in the middle of all the action here today on the back end. Not afraid to put his leg in there. As Franciscan tries to build one less look here with a minute. 30 left to play. Finds Ryan Miller who has a lot of ground in front of him. Miller tries to find, oh. We have another offsides. Miller tried to find Kohler there and Kohler just barely offsides, almost running into Piper. Piper able to clear it out of play, leading to a St. Vincent free kick there on the offside. One minute remaining in the first half. And checking the stats there. That is the fifth offside by Franciscan. None for St. Vincent. Oh, was Bobek looking for Kohler there and unable to corral it. Giving St. Vincent maybe the last look of the half here. As number 17 sends a dangerous cross to 24. 24 unable to control it there. As Benjamin Edwards. Hit off his hand, leading to a handball and a quick free kick for Franciscan. Just under 30 seconds left. Franciscan moving up the far side of the field is Nick Cross. Nick Cross has it deflected off of St. Vincent, defender, giving him a throw in. As they try to get a last minute push here. 10, 9. Here, Armani eight, sends it, and no one's seven, home there as St. Vincent five, will take it into four, the half. Three, trailing two, one to nothing as Piper one. punts one into nowhere. At the half here, like I said, Franciscan up one to nothing. We'll take a brief pause here for a 15 minute halftime and we'll be right back to go over some half.
And welcome back for the second half here. As the Bearcats take the kickoff. Quickly looking to attack here. And that'll be a St. Vincent throw in. It's Mikey Irvin. Unhappy with the call there. As I should say, no call, no call was made. The officials allowed it, allowing a lot of pushing, pushing and shoving. St. Vincent pushing it into the box. Dangerous header there. Going into Rahman. Seven tries to get it to the center of the box, and Nagel able to clear it. Ball just snuck over the Franciscan defense, and Rahman was able to get a dangerous touch on it. Thankfully, he worked it to the outside and not towards goal. But another dangerous cross cleared by Piermani. And then a handball there by number seven, Chris White. And give Franciscan a free kick. <coughs> Nagel tries to work quickly, looking for Kohler. Kohler chests it to himself. Just a bit strong there, and Francisco will look to regain possession here in the midfield. <coughs> Fioramani sending a beautiful ball up to Schreiner. Schreiner gets taken out there by Sean Nip, <coughs> able to come back from injury. Good to see him out there, but good defense there. Give Francisco a throw in. Trying to work it around to the middle here is Fiermani. Fiermani crosses it back to Joe St. George. He's got a step. Finds Irvin in the corner. Back to St. George. He sends it. And then cleared again by Nip. Nip doing a good job. Looks like he's got a little bit of a limp there. But he's had two good plays already here for the Bearcats. Toughing it out here in the second half. Kohler has it here in the corner for Franciscan. Double covered. Finds Joe St. George with some space. St. George goes into triple coverage, but able to get out of it. Doing a little too much there as he gets it taken away. And then loses to a St. Vincent throw in. St. Vincent. Holding possession through the midfield. Tries to send one deep to Rahman. A little too strong, though. Nagel able to corral it and move it back to Maton. Franciscan back into their game plan here as they're trying to work the ball. Rely on their back end to possess it. Oh, as Schreiner goes down again, no call. It's a through ball, just a little bit too strong for him. But Kohler able to win it again, and Ryan Miller has a streaking. Atkinson and St. Vincent able to get there in time to clear it. Fiermani wins it back. Thought he had Schreiner on the move, but he was not. As Piper corrals the cross, sends another punt high into the deep sky as some darker clouds are moving in on us. Yeah, Justin's been all over this midfield, causing a lot of havoc for the Bearcats. Yeah, he earned the start today, and rightfully so, as he has been a big impact player. In the minutes he's given today, as Nagel sends a dangerous ball to Schreiner. Schreiner has a step on a man. Schreiner to the corner with a cross to Kohler. Kohler gets a touch for the goal, and that is going to be a reverse from the earlier goal today. As Schreiner finds the streaking Kohler. Kohler gets a right foot on it and sneaks right in the lower right side of the goal there for the second goal of the game. Kohler's seventh goal of the season. Giving him a three-point day already to give him 19 points on the season. Knew that was a dangerous look there as Schreiner finally got a step on a guy. He's had a couple offsides, a couple miscommunications, and he finally got possession and a step on a guy. I knew that was going to be a dangerous look. He just muscled his way past the defender there. Yeah, Schreiner 
Still make, making a case for Newcomer of the Year one game at a time here as he now has points in three out of four PAC games. And Franciscan with a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Jonathan started this year coming off the bench and about two or three games into the season uh, he got the start and he hasn't looked back since. And Schreiner has it. Going to a battle here again with number 17. 17 clears it out, which will lead to a Franciscan corner kick. Let's see who we got taking it here. It looks to be Nick Miller coming in from the midfield. Coach okay. is moving that defender up. Keep your eyes on 21 here. Miller taking his time here as Franciscan has the lead. Just under 40 minutes to play here. Well, Firamani streaks in. Ball goes back post to Nagel again and heads it just over the top. That'll be a St. Vincent goal kick as we got a sub here as well. Substitution in for St. Vincent, number four, Jose Hurtado for number three, Sean Nip. That would be number four, Jose Hurtado for number three, Sean Nip, who's still limping a little bit as he was trying to tough out the ankle injury there. It looks like his day may be done. As Piper able to send another rocket of a ball past the midfield, possessed by St. Vincent momentarily until it goes out of bounds there on the near side of the field in front of the St. Vincent bench for a Franciscan throw in. Look to be taken here, thrown in here by Joe St. George. Throw a little bit too strong, and St. Vincent will earn possession. St. Vincent still controlling it in the midfield, but sends it just a bit too strong just over their bench, and that'll be another Franciscan throw in as Joe St. George looks to work quickly here with Mikey Irvin streaking. And that ball cleared all the way down on the intramural field. Need another ball here. As Joe St. George finds one here and able to throw it into midfield to Atkinson. That's for who the call's on here. They're going to call it on number eight. Number eight, Andres Mateos carry on. Who committed the foul on number 18, Joshua Atkinson. A little bit of hand fighting there in the midfield. That will be a dangerous free kick opportunity here for Franciscan. Which will be Nick Miller. Looking for his guys to push forward here. He's going to take the time with the 2-0 lead. Sends a beautiful ball. Mikey Irvin not able to get ahead on it. As that will just sail out of the back. Of the end zone. Leading to a St. Vincent goal kick taken by Piper here out of the middle of the box. Piper sends this one short of the midfield line as Nagel able to get a strong head on it. And Franciscan pushes it forward as Kohler is still hustling. Trying to find possession somehow, some way. As the substitution there, Hurtado for St. Vincent is able to win it. Oh, Ryan Miller able to make a couple guys miss as he gets it up to Sebastian Kohler. Kohler tried to return it to Miller, but unable to corral it as he will win a Franciscan throw in. Throw in working in quickly by St. George there to Kohler. Kohler gets a step into the box, and that is going to be a foul there on number two, it looks like, inside the box there, which will lead to a PK for Franciscan. Foul on, it looked to be number two. And that will be taken here by Nick Miller. Takes most of Franciscan's PKs here against Piper here. And Miller goes lower, lower right for the goal. Number 19, Nick Miller. Miller now two for two on the season on PKs, and those will be his lone two goals of the year, giving Franciscan a 3-0 lead. Miller.
Miller with a very strong kick there. Just inside the right post. Thought he may have missed it for a second. As the goalie did dive right as well, but snuck right above him for the third goal of the game here with 36 minutes and five seconds left to play. Franciscan leading three to nothing. Beautiful sight to see the Franciscan leading here with about 500 faithful fans here. This is an awesome day for Franciscan athletics and men's soccer. Hopefully the women's team can back it up, but men's team has to finish it out here still with 35 minutes left to play. That'll be yeah, three out of their last four games now. They've scored at least three goals to improve their goal per game average. Now is nearing three goals a game. It's quite impressive with them being shut out on two occasions. St. Vincent has a dangerous ball here. Number 10 sends a low one. Just able to be cleared here by Mikey Irvin. As a high bouncer has a streaking Nagel. Nagel puts a shoulder into, into uh, St. Vincent defender there. As Franciscan wins a throw in. Throw in getting into Miller. Miller looking for Irvin. Irvin able to corral it, find Miller again, but Miller just loses the handle. That pass from Miller was a little too wide. Yeah, they had a chance there for a counter. That was kind of the offensive attack that St. Vincent's been going for all day. And Franciscan not complacent with a three-goal lead. Uh, St. Vincent, number nine, sends it to Raman, and Raman finds the back of the net there. Oh, no. Sorry, we have a call here. Trying to get the call here from the far side official. Yeah, it looks to be a goal there. Goal from number 12. Goal, St. Vincent, number 12, David Rahman. Like I said, from number 9, Corey Northrup. Goal by Rahman is his fourth of the season to tie Detweiler, the team lead. And we got a 3-1 game just like that, and St. Vincent on the attack again is number 9. Sends a beautiful cross that is blocked by Atkinson. And Franciscan tries to regather here. As it didn't look like they got complacent by any means. They were on the attack, but they just got exposed on a on a great look there. Yeah, Nagel was pushing forward on the field. He was. Nick Miller was back trying to cover for him, so we didn't have our best defenders in the back on that play. That is that is true though. That is true. As Franciscan will get another dangerous free kick here, which will be taken by Miller. Three-one game here with just under 34 minutes left. Franciscan looking for another look here. As Miller sends it, looking for Irvin again. Irvin gets the back of his head on it, and like a 360 jump there, and that header is blocked by Piper. Piper able to send it out of play for a corner kick here. That's two there that Ir <coughs> Miller's been looking for Irvin. Irvin able to get the head on it there, barely. Thought it would be off target, but it was on target there for a beautiful save. The athletic header by Mikey there. And Turning his body around and still trying to Miller get the Miller sends on the one. Oh, what a header by Schreiner. Schreiner with the header hits post. That was a low corner kick by uh, Miller there, and Schreiner was looking for a second goal of the day. But that header saved by the post. And St. Vincent holds it within two goals here as they're back on the attack again. Franciscan with 17 shots on the day to St. Vincent's eight. So they've been on the attack. Well, Franciscan looking to regain possession on the far side of the field is Chris St. George and St. George able to win a throw in. Which will work back to the his defensive teammates. Uh, Nick Miller on the back line, able to send one deep. One on the second by his younger brother, Ryan Miller. Franciscan wins the throw in. 
right in front of their bench. Here as Ryan Miller has lots of space. Tries to send it too quick there and has it stolen by St. Vincent. St. Vincent pushes it up. Corey Northrup has had a good second half thus far working the near side of the field. Liam Nagel does a great job there. Wins a throw in as Franciscan looking to slow down and regroup here. Looks like the change is official though now that uh, <coughs> Nick Miller working the defense and uh, Atkinson up in the midfield. Up in the mid, yeah. I mean, Nick Miller's our, our the graduate student um, high on the list in scoring for the Barons. So he definitely has the experience to make sure we hang on to this lead. Yeah, it's an interesting move I have not seen thus far this year. From Coach Brent Rittenauer. I mean, Atkinson, you could say, is playing a defensive mid with the two-goal lead here. Another beautiful ball there sent in by Miller. Finds, oh, finds Schreiner. With Schreiner with two defenders on his back, sends one wide. That'll be a goal kick. Number four. Joseph Fiorimonti for number 18, Josh Atkinson. Will allow Franciscan to get a sub in, which will be Joseph Fiorimonti for the freshman, Joshua Atkinson. Fiorimonti looks to play the more of a traditional midfield here. Because he has quite a lot of experience in the midfield. As Nagel wins the header over to Irvin. Irvin working it towards the middle. Great slide by the St. Vincent defense there to control possession. As Fiermani was streaking there, that was a very dangerous ball by Irvin. As the St. Vincent throw and is thrown out of bounds, which will go to Franciscan, and Franciscan will work it back to their captain, Nick Miller, who works it back to Montone. Nagel finds St. George on the near end here. St. George pushing up. Sends it right into the St. Vincent defender. As the Bearcats able to control it there. Works it back to the far side of the field here. Definitely having a little bit more urgency on the Bearcat attack this, this half it seems. As Franciscan throws it in, Fiermani controlling it in the middle, finds his younger brother on the drop pass. Who has it stolen here, and number eight is streaking down the middle of the field for the Bearcats, and Nagel makes a run on it and stops him in his tracks. But the Bearcats retain possession. As they now have, have numbers here. As number two makes a run. What a save by Matone there as... Ike Evangelo with an absolute ripper with his left foot there. Hard to tell from our angle if that was inside the post or outside the post, but Montone with a very athletic diving save there. Which will be taken here by number 14, Giuseppe Lociano. Taking the corner of the right footer, sends it far post, misses all his teammates, but Bearcats able to control it on the second. Number 10 sends a dangerous ball in there. I think he was looking for a teammate to get a touch on. It was Griffin Prinky. So that ball goes all the way to Matone. And Matone resets. Yeah, that's an easy save for Jax. Franciscan looking to work it out of the back end here once more. As St. George looking for fellow freshman Schreiner. Schreiner gets position again. Looking for help, Fiermani streaking, but unable to get there in time as Schreiner hits the ground again. Irvin wins a touch, has Schreiner offside, so he's got to be careful here. As Franciscan able to back it up and retain pos regain possession here. They're working.
working it back and controlling possession. As they're confident in their abilities there of a back line with St. George, Miller, and Nagel. St. Vincent looking to attack here as they gain possession of the midfield line. Pushing it up to number seven. He's double covered by the St. George's. And St. George is able to win there. As Mikey Irvin pushes it up the near side of the field here for Franciscan. Looking for Schreiner. He's unable to win it. Dangerous ball is St. Vincent able to get it into the box. Number seven, Chris White, unable to get a good shot on it, though. We got a couple subs each way. For Franciscan coming on the field is number eight, Nick Cross, and number 22, J.P. Bobeck. With subs, two subs as well coming, coming in for the Bearcats will be number 32, Alexander Cruz, and number 19, Erwin Suarez. Both came in in the first half and gave great minutes to the Bearcats. As they're looking to get another spark here with 25 minutes left to play. Beautiful three ball there, but Bobak unable to get to it as he's trying to stay on sides. Had a struggle with that in the first half. As the Bearcats back on the attack here. Number nine moves it up to number 12, Rahman. Rahman rockets it wide. Another dangerous look here as the Bearcats are getting many more looks than they got in the first half. Already just halfway through this second half. Yeah, with the physical play that's been playing, I'm curious if Coach moved Nick back to defense to protect him after that yellow card earlier. Franciscan unable to control it there. But now they're able to gain possession here on their own end. It's Nick Miller. Looking to quarterback this offense here. See, works it up to Firamani. Firamani sends a ball to Bobek. JP rips a shot, which is saved by Piper. 20th shot of the day by Franciscan as Nick Cross looks to win a battle here. And he does as he finds Justin Firamani. Oh, finds his. Finds Bobek, and Bobek lets it go through his legs, thinking Kohler was there, and St. Vincent defense takes over. Nagel regains possession for Franciscan as Justin Firamani tries to find Cross, which un is unsuccessful. And Rahaman has a dangerous position here once again for the Bearcats. As Nagel's able to work that out of the back end of the field, giving St. Vincent another corner. Taking the corner, looks to be number 19. Erwin Suarez just came into the game. Suarez sends it near post, which is blocked by St. George. And Nick Cross able to win it on the near side of the field and has a lot of turf in front of him as he's waiting for help to come with him. Has it stolen by the Bearcats and Bearcats back on the attack. Great slide tackle by Joe St. George. Piper has the ball for the Bearcats and works it to the far side of the field. Go, 
Iramani tries to make a run there, but just a little too strong as the Bearcats will regain possession here on the throw-in. <laughs> Bearcats push it up the field with a strong throw-in there as they find Rahman. Rahman rips it, saved by Matone. Rahman's not been afraid to rip it from anywhere. He's shown a strong leg. Yeah, and the Barons' defense has been great, so you don't have many opportunities. Yeah, you take, see him, you got to take him. As Nagel able to push it up to Nick Cross. Nick Cross has some help in front of him as he sends a beautiful ball to Bobek. Bobek, not offsides, has a look here. And the sliding tackle gets the ball out of bounds for a Franciscan corner. Which will allow number 18, number 18 Joshua Atkinson, to come back into the game number six. for number six, Justin, Justin Fiermani. Very strong defensive. Oh, wow. Wow, I was incorrect on that call. My bad, uh, my bad, Spolman, as that was a goal kick for the Bearcats. Not sure what I saw incorrectly there. But the Bearcats back on the attack here. As the ball goes back to Atkinson, the new sub. As Chris St. George able to turn and clear that. And we'll have two subs here for Bearcats. And one coming in for Franciscan as well. For number nine, Corey Northbrook. And number 16, Michael Gates. Who's coming in for Franciscan will be number 14. for the Barons. Jonathan Schreiner, and for the Bearcats coming in will be number 16, Michael Gates, and number 7, Chris White. A couple starters coming back in. Yeah, Schreiner coming in for Kohler there. Cross looking to get it up the field there. Sails out of bounds. 23, Brandon Brock. For number 12, David Rahman. Sorry for the brief delay there, trying to get the substitutions right here as Francisca now on the attack. And we'll get the call there. Stop the clock. Stop the clock as we may have another yellow here with a shove in the back. It will be on number four. Is that two yellows? I think it may be two yellows on four and 19. I did not see that correctly. There's at least one on 19. Try to get word from the officials here. May just be on 19. We'll call one on 19, but he's writing a lot down there. With our close official out of reach here to talk to him. We'll put one yellow in for 19 there, which is Suarez. He's had a splash in this in this game. That'll be a dangerous free kick here for Franciscan as Miller sends a bouncer, which is touched by Nagel for the goal. I thought it was touched by Nago. Everyone celebrating with Miller. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to double check. Nick Miller. I have to double check. I thought it was touched by. Thought it was touched, but evidently it wasn't. And we'll call that a straight goal there by Miller. I went through a lot of bodies, not touch anyone. I thought, yeah, Nago was an amazing position, but he did not come up to celebrate there. As the low bouncer. Proves to be dangerous to give Miller his second goal of the game and third goal of the season. First goal not off a of PK. As he's been playing more of a defensive role in this game. But St. Vincent slips up with the yellow card there, giving Miller the opportunity to come up and take the free kick there. And he makes him pay. We'll go 
we'll have to double check those yellow cards though. Next time we have a moment. It's now the younger Miller signaling for Cross to make a run. Cross tries to get there and he's able to. And Franciscan, oh. Man, I have not been in agreement on many of these corner goal kick calls. That will be another goal kick here. That's a couple kicks where the bounces right off the Bearcat defender. but Yeah, just a couple of, you know, those quick touches there. I guess I'm seeing them the wrong way. As Piper able to send this one close to the midfield to his teammate there, Alexander Cruz, number 32. Bearcats look to possess it up the far side of the field. As Miller there for Franciscan in defense is able to get it out of the back end, which will lead to a Bearcats corner. That will allow the Bearcats to bring in number 27, Alejandro Martinez. Also coming in for Franciscan is number double zero. Coming in number zero, William Mooney. William Mooney, 17 minutes left here. Senior coming in for a relief of Jax Monton who's had a beautiful day in goal. The corner kick sails over the net. And that'll be a goal kick for William Mooney. Seeing action in his third game this year. As a short goal kick. Sent in and Franciscan looking to possess it as they've done all day from their back end up to their midfield. Win the midfield battle and get it on the attack. But the Bearcats causing havoc here and we're going to have a foul here. Sorry, looks like we're going to stop the clock and this is going to be a yellow card on number 16, Ryan Miller. Got out of position there and a little, used a little too much of the hands there and this is going to be a very dangerous free kick. I got one of them. I can easily add it. And the Bearcats going to take the free kick here. Looks to be number four, Jose Hurtado. Hurtado with the left foot sends it. Far side of the box, headed out by Nagel. And that'll be cleared out of bounds there by Fiermani, which will lead to a Bearcats corner. Bearcats send the corner. To the far side of the post, all the way across the box, actually, to number seven. Number seven rips a shot, which is blocked by Nagel. Mooney makes a Mooney makes a run on it there, and Mooney's able to corral it as he looks for a quick push here up the far side of the field as he finds Schreiner. Schreiner finds Bobak. Bobak has three defenders on him. See if he can make something happen. As he finds the middle of the field for Cross. Cross ain't able to crowd on the first touch. That was a missed opportunity there. And we'll regain possession as Joe St. George makes a run. Joe St. George sends it to the middle, which is blocked. Cross finally able to crowd it, but sends it long for a St. Vincent goal kick. Substitution in for the Barons. Number 17, Mark Kissinger for number 21, Liam Nagel. Number and we've got four Matt subs Miller coming in for Franciscan. Nick number 25. Four Nick. subs coming in for Franciscan. Number two, Nicholas Paps. Number 15, Matthew Sherwood. Number 17, Mark Kissinger. And number 25, Josh Kyle, all coming into the game here for Franciscan with just over 14 minutes left to play. As St. Vincent possesses it, gets it there to Kissinger. Kissinger works it up the middle of the field all the way to Bobak. Beautiful ball there by Kissinger. But Bobak unable to corral it as the Bearcats will send it promptly out of bounds. And 
the Bearcats on the attack again as number 23 sends a beautiful cross. Franciscan able to stifle it and get it out as 16 now. Tries to push one up and out of the end zone there for a goal kick. Should be taken here by William Mooney. Not a go out of bounds to give for St. Vincent, number 20. sub Joshua there. Canty for number two, Leo Yacovangelo. Which will be number 20, Joshua Canny. Coming in for number two, Leo Yacovangelo. And St. Vincent looking to stay on the attack here. But touch it too firm. Out of bounds there, giving Franciscan possession and Franciscan earns another throw in here oh, actually Franciscan earning a free kick there as Bobak was fouled I believe by number 16 should be a free kick here Sent in by Atkinson all the way to the top of the box. Franciscan, I don't know what to get a good touch on it here, but Kyle sends it back in. And Franciscan defense able to control it, work it up. Now Atkinson into Kyle. Kyle find Paps, Paps finds Bobek. Oh, and Bobek just mishandles it. As we have 11 minutes left to play here, Fioramani gets a step, and he is going to be tripped up by number eight. This will just be a Franciscan free kick as Fioramani taking a minute here to get up. Hopefully he's okay as Joseph Fioramani. Dangerous position though here. See who takes the free kick with Nick Miller out of the game. It looks like it'll be number 20, Joseph St. George. Freshman. Looking to push one near the box here. And he sends it straight on the goalie. Bobak looks to shield him. Able to shield him away from saving it. As Franciscan holds possession. And St. George, 24-13. As we have a bunch of subs both ways here. Coming in for St. Vincent will be number 15 and number 12. With... A couple subs coming in here for Franciscan as well will be number 13, Andrew Angston, number 23, Jonathan Davitt, and number 24, Anthony Felix. Jonathan Davitt for number three, Chris St. George. As we now are under 10 minutes, Coach Ridden are able to use a lot of the bench here and get a lot of guys some valuable minutes. As St. Vincent has possession. And St. Vincent slowly working possession up as they gain a couple more throw-ins. <laughs> 16 sends a ball to the front of the box there. No one home as Mooney able to scoop it up. Finds St. George and St. George is 
being aggressive here as he pushes it up, finding Bobek. But St. Vincent able to win the battle of the midfield. Kissinger able to clear it back to Mooney. Mooney able to push it up towards the midfield. But the Bearcats able to win the battle here. As number 16 sends one up to the front of the box. No one home again. No one home again. Joe St. George pushing it now. Beautiful ball finding Bobek in position. Bobek defender on his back has a shot wide, which was blocked actually by the defender, which will lead to a Franciscan corner. Beautiful ball by St. George there finding Bobek. Bobek doing a much better job this half of not going off sides there, but shielding off the defender to get position. And that'll lead to a corner kick, corner kick which will be taken by St. George. And we have a yellow card. Yellow card awarded to number four. Stop the clock. I'm not sure if it was on four or not. If it's on four, it's his second yellow, which would mean an ejection. So I'm not sure who it was on. Four was on the ground. So I'm not sure who the yellow is on. We'll have to put it in later here as the corner at the box is going to be headed by number two off the post. Paps the almost of the first goal of the season for him. As a double header combo there led to a great look by Paps and just headed off the crossbar. As the Bearcats were able to push it up but a little too aggressive as that'll be a Franciscan throw in on the far side of the field. Franciscan leading four to one, still seven minutes left to play here. As the Bearcats now have possession here on the near side of the field. It's stolen there by Cross. Cross looking to the middle to find Bobek. Cross gets it on the rebound there. Now has position. Wide. Looks for the center ball. Oh, and just misses just misses the foot there. Number 13, Andrew Angston. Ball out of bounds there. Will give us another chance for some subs here. For Franciscan will be number 12, Thomas Sweat. And for number 10 will be Griffin Prinky coming back into the game. Number 16, Michael Gates. In and for Franciscan, number 12, Thomas Sweet for number 20, Joe St. George. Sub for Franciscan, Thomas Sweet takes the throw in. Finds Nick Cross. Cross finds Angston, and Angston works it back all the way to Mooney. Now he looks to send one deep with a strong right leg. Finds fellow senior Nick Cross. He works it to the middle. But Franciscan unable to possess it there. As number four sends one deep into the box, Rahman shoots one wide. Rahman had a little bit more time there, rushed the shot, and just went wide. Which will give William Mooney another goal kick here. Let's see if Mooney looks to go long here as we're under five minutes left. But he works it to the near side of the field to Kissinger, and Kissinger able to send it long to cross. He's able to possess it. Kyle pushing it up to Paps. Paps looking to make up for the header that just hit the pipe. As the Bearcats have possession there momentarily. 
Send it out of bounds for a Franciscan throw in here. Dangerous spot. Throwing's able to get all the way into the box to Pabst. Pabst back to Bobak who loses it, but same isn't too strong for a Franciscan throw in. Franciscan able to win. Oh, not able to win that, as that'll be a goal kick for the Bearcats. Piper sends a strong ball near side of the field. Cross in position. Chests it down to the ground, but St. Vincent wins the second. Through balls cleared out by Kissinger. Giving the Bearcats a throw in and another chance here to possess the ball and cut into this three goal lead. As I said, it goes long and that'll be a goal kick here for William Mooney. Mooney able to work it up the far side of the field here. For the St. Vincent midfield wins the battle. They're going to possess the ball as they move over the midfield line. Just stolen there by Davitt. Davitt back to Sherwood, and Sherwood puts a big charge on one down the far side of the field, which is won by Bobek. Bobek trying to get past his defender, is able to get a step. Beats the defender, but the defender makes an amazing slide tackle. There's number four, Jose Hurtado. He's been very active on the back end there. Sherwood makes a run on one, able to win it. As Franciscan gets another offensive charge. The far side of the field there is Nicholas Pabst. Paps kicks it off the defender and is able to win a corner for Franciscan. Let's see who takes it here. Many subs in the game here. As the Franciscan defenders pushing up, looks like Bobek is going to take it. We're going to take a sh shot here back post. Amazing ball to the back post, just touched out a play by the goalie, which should lead to another corner. One minute remaining in regulation. With one minute left here, Franciscan gonna have another dangerous look here. Let's watch number 15 here in front of the net, Matthew Sherwood. Looks like they were looking for him on that first corner. I can't tell who's taking it here. Can't see through the bench here, but ball goes more to the front of the box and no one's home there. Kissinger able to corral it momentarily. But then St. Vincent able to clear it. Davitt, Davitt with some ground in front of him gets it out a little too far ahead of him and has that one sail out of play for a goal kick. Under 30 seconds here. Bearcats try to send one out here. But it looks like Franciscan will move to 4-0 in the conference. 10. Nine, eight, Match Grove City. Seven, six, five, four, tied for the three, best record in the two, PAC so far. One. And that's all here. Great call today, Mitch. Yeah, we'll be right back for a recap of stats here. And that is it, ladies and As gentlemen. I pull them, score, I'll pull them up here right now. One, Franciscan four. As a recap of goals here for us, the real quick here. The Trinity Health System Field here on Wednesday, October 20th at 5 p.m. versus Grove City. Time is one minute, just, just over minutes. one minute into the game. Jonathan Triner able to find a 